Hello everybody, um, so today I decided to do this new series called, I guess, Behind the Scenes or Behind the Drawing, I'm not really sure what to call it, but I just want to take you guys a little bit more in-depth of my process. If you hear any moving around, that's my bunny, Tofu, he just moved into my room. Originally he was in my sister's room, but now he's in my room and he makes a lot of noise. Um, good thing when I film, there's no audio. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just want to take you guys behind the scenes and show you my process, what I do to prepare, and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely make more. I plan to make more, especially since I don't show a lot of sketching in my actual videos, and if you guys are curious about what my process is, then they will be up after the video is posted. So here are the initial thumbnails. As you can see, I have different designs for the snake and the woman. And then this is the final final design. I did do it all in pencil first, and then I did it over in pen, so that when I use the light box, then it'll be easier to trace. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I did the uh, you know, cleaned tie-down at school, and that's what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to include circle. I think I might, just because it adds some more, I guess, dimension. It makes it look more 3D, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to start outlining it and filming the video. So this is the final so far. I'm still adding more pen to it, but this is where I had to stop because my camera died. Um, but it's charged up now, so I'm going to go start filming again. Also debating whether or not to include gold. I know this won't show up that well, so I might do a marker base, um, but we'll see what happens. So I'm still coloring in the pattern on the snake, and it's taking a long time. I didn't record it because it's going to take a while, and my battery will probably die before I added the rest of the color, so I just wanted to save you guys from watching it. <laughs> but this is where I am so far. I think it's been like 15, 20 minutes so far, and I've only got this much done. So, just need to do the rest of the tail, and then I'll probably get back to filming. So I finished the snake pattern. Took another 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's deceiving. It doesn't seem like it'll take a long time, but it does. And then I was kind of afraid to just use the color on the uh, final one, so I did it on the original just to see how it looked, and I like how it looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the final. At first I wasn't sure if the scales and, and the bands were gonna be too much yellow, but I think it works pretty well, so I will see you at the end. Okay, so it's pretty much done. Um, I added the gold, and you can see it kind of shimmer, so I think it looks cool. I think I wish it was a little more vibrant, but it's also a very dull day today, so maybe that's why. I also made a little mess up, but I'm going to use some white gel pen just to get rid of that. <laughs> so this is the paper that I used. This is the 11 by 14 size, and it's smooth paper, um, the smooth surface one. Uh, but I cut it to be 8.5 by 11 just so that it would fit with my other draft. And then here are the pens. Um, this is just one pack, but the other packs I put away already. They're nice so far. I really like them. And this is what they look like in there. Yep. So, yeah, I really like them so far. And they're a lot more affordable than getting individual microns. Because microns can be like $4 each almost. I use coupons, but still... And then here's the jelly roll pen I used to clean up the spot. I still need to clean up a little more before I take the photos, but that's what is going on right now. And then this is what I use for the watercolors. And, whoops. And this is the watercolor palette I used. Um, I wrote the name on the back. It's the Yatsutomo Pearlescent Watercolors. And I used this color. A little bit of this one, but it didn't show up. So yeah. 
that's basically all I'll use. For the draft one, though, I use this Touch 5 marker in 37 pastel yellow, just for the, uh, the draft, which I can't find. Oh. For this one. So you can see the difference between the two. I definitely like them both. Um, I'm not sure if I could choose a favorite. If this one I think had the regular like uh, gold paint that's more metallic, I think I would like it more. But right now, I mean, the camera kind of makes it look brighter than it is, but it's really dull in person. So that's the only qualm I have about this one. I also use this masking tape just to create the circle. It made a pretty good circle. This one over here was actually used, um, I used like a can topper. <laughs> so yeah, a lid. I, can't, I don't know what you call them. Plastic jar lid things. Um, but this one was the perfect size, so I just kind of matched it. And if you hear thumping, that's because my bunny over there, Tofu, is making a ruckus. Here's a close-up of bunny Tofu. <laughs> he always wants to be out, even though I take him out so much. But he can't be at the same time with Tomi because um, he's not neutered yet, so I don't want them to fight. But right now I'm just getting them used to each other's smells. Yes, Tofu. And then uh, when he is neutered, I'll introduce them and see what happens. But yeah, I'll take him out later. <laughs> That's what the noise was though. He just keeps running around in here. And then there's quiet little Tomi who just sits there underneath. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you liked the behind the scenes look to it and uh, how I went in depth with the materials and my process and like my decision making. So if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do more. I plan to do a couple more anyways just because I feel like it helps give you guys a sense of uh, what I'm thinking, what my process is, and you get a little bit more insight on the materials. So again. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. They're definitely more casual and more relaxed. Um, but yeah, keep drawing, keep painting, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!